Not many devices are compatible with the Apple Home app. One example is the lights right above me. But once you have a home bridge system set up, everything changes. <laughs> This is how to install HomeBridge on an Ubuntu system. If you have a different OS, check out homebridge.io and I'll put a link to the I'll put a link in the description to get information on how to install on your device. Anyway, let's begin. Prerequisites. You're going to need sudo access. Access to the terminal means that if you are SSH uh, it will work. Just make sure you do have access to sudo. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to need internet access. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to launch the terminal. The first thing you're going to want to do is see if you have Node.js installed by typing node-v. As you can see, I do not have it. So let's get it installed. curl s capital l https slash deb dot node dot com slash setup underscore fourteen dot x and we're going to do a vertical bar sudo bash dash like that and you're going to put in your password and we'll let it do its thing There we go. Now let's install Node.js as well as a few other things we're going to need. sudo apt install dash y node.js is the first one. The other things we're going to need are gcc g++ make python and net tools. Go ahead and type that and hit enter. Once it's finished, let's make sure that node is working by typing node-v, and as you can see, it's working. Now let's get Homebridge installed. sudo npm install dash g dash dash unsafe dash perm Homebridge and Homebridge dash config dash ui dash x and hit enter this may take a while depending on how fast your system is so give it some time There we go. Now we have it installed. Let's get it set up. sudo hb service install dash dash user homebridge. And once we run this, it's going to do multiple things. The first thing it's going to do is set up homebridge, it's going to run it. And set it up so that Homebridge will automatically start when you turn on the computer. So let's go ahead and do this. Now that we have Homebridge installed, let's go ahead and set it up. It's very simple. All you got to do is click on one of the three links to get started. I'm going to be clicking on the first one. It should launch in your default web browser. If everything's working well, you should be taken to a login page. The username and password is simple. It's admin. Same thing as the password. And you should be taken here. I'll go over each thing. We got a QR code, which can be used to add it to the Apple Home. We've got status, so you can see that Home is up to date. Uh, it's running well, and our plugins are up to date. You've got your CPU, memory, and uptime. And you've got the logs, which you usually do not need to worry about. Now, Let's take a look at 
our plugins where we can actually install things to get accessories. Let's say you have some Govi LED lights. Let's look that up, Govi. And we're given two options. For this one, we're gonna be looking at the second one because that one's for LED lights. So let's go ahead and install it. Installing plugins is usually pretty quick, but once again, it depends on your system stacks. There we go. Now that we have it installed, we will be given its settings page. Doesn't seem to be loading very well for me. So I'll go ahead and cut to when it loads. There we go. It just loaded. So let's go ahead and go through the setup. Uh, the system is pretty simple. Uh, and this will, this will depend on which plugins you're using. Here, it's gonna, you just have to simply put your username, your password, and your API key. And most devices usually have guides on how to do this stuff. Now, I already have it set up on a different machine. So I'm not going to set it up here, but that is how you would install a plugin. To uninstall a plugin, you just got to click on the little wrench icon and select uninstall, uninstall, and let it uninstall like that. Now let's take a look at our accessories page. Right now it's completely empty. Once you get more plugins in and you get those linked, you will be able to have your accessories here as well as in your Apple Home app. Now let's change our default login. You can hit the three dots in the top right and select user accounts. Now let's add a new user. For example, let's name it Zane. Our name and our password. I'm just gonna do uh, password one, two, three, just as a test. Password. One, two, three. And I'm going to check the box so that I am an admin user. Just like that. Now, if I were to log out, and now let's log in with my new one. So Zane, and then password, one, two, three. Log in. And boom, we're in. So, and actually, and if you want to, you can set up a 2FA so that you can have to use, you know, 2FA so that no one can hack in. The only downside about this is it will take longer to log in. Also, the system is pretty secure because you do have to be in the internal network, but it's up to you on how you want to do it. If we go into our Homebridge settings, you'll be able to get other things that are usually more for developers. Now let's take a look at restarting our server. The restart server option here will actually reboot the computer. But if we just want to restart Homebridge, you can click this power icon in the top right. It does not take long. And once it's finished, it will bring you back to the home page. There we go. And as you can see, it's, there's the boot up process. That's how you install Homebridge.